And you had some injuries too, right? We did. Um, Christoph's, um, Christoph's horse got stung by a bee the first day that he was riding and he was thrown and he needed to have pelvic surgery. So, yeah, and, um, and, and as a result, that's why that dentist cart is in there because he couldn't get back literally in the saddle. There were a lot of challenges on Django. Um, one, first it started out, you know, we had to hear about um, our subject matter and our genre not traveling internationally. So we weren't just making a Western, we were making a black Western set in the times of slavery. That is a stylistic choice. It's, it's something that's always been a part of his filmmaking. There were things that were debated in the, not debated, that, that were discussed in the making of the film. Like Peck and Paw, that sequence in the end of the film, the shootout, was, was a Quentin Tarantino sequence. That's very different than the emotional violence and slavery and the difference of the tones. And so that was always a discussion, but um, that was the film we made unapologetically. We always felt, no, we were making a Quentin Tarantino film, so his fresh sensibility and his just extraordinary ability to mash up tone, style, break your heart, terrify you, make you laugh, um, and, and make you cry was just going to win out. We, we worked on Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction yeah. together and the development process was exactly the same. Um, it goes like this. Final draft, 163 pages, right. and he gives it to people, and then you get going. I was up at his house, and my car got blocked in, so I went into the guest house to read it, and he was kind of pacing around saying, what do you think? And, um, and I was crying at the end and mad that he killed Schultz, as everybody was when they got to that part. And, and he said, well, that's good, honey, because uh, we're going to work together again. Quentin is much more of a romantic than his work gets credit for. People tend to focus on the sensationalistic aspect or his linguistic uh, prowess. But there's always a really romantic and true romance, of course, in his screenplays. And the fact that ultimately this is the story of a bir the birth of a hero who goes on a quest to rescue his beloved and and triumphs. That's you know that that tickles me. Jamie, um, during all of this, kept kind of moving his shoulder. It turned out while he was working out, he had blown two discs, and because the doctor was there for for Kristoff, he recognized what was going on, and Jamie had emergency surgery in the middle of our shooting. <laughs> <laughs>